I-49. All right. All right, today we're going to be looking at Interstate 49, both the complete and the incomplete sections of it. You see here, it is planned to go from the Louisiana state line to the Missouri state line. There are a few cities that surround the state lines, but I didn't really, uh, didn't really list them here because they're too minute of places. So here we go. We can see we have a southern section and a northern section fully completed, but the middle section is mostly not completed. There is a little ghost section of it where this blue area is, and we'll talk about that once we get into it. So uh, without further ado, let's continue. And I would ask you to please leave a like, leave a subscribe, and leave a comment. Uh, this is one I've been very excited to talk about, so yeah, just, you know, do all this stuff and, uh, let's get started. Um, so first we will talk about Interstate 49 to Arkansas, northbound. So here we are at the southern terminus of Interstate 49 in Arkansas. Uh, we have a welcome to Arkansas sign, uh, Arkansas Natural State Buckle for Safety is so a pretty generic sign here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, further down, we meet our first exit for US 71 for Doddridge. And at this intersection, we have Texarkana North, so good job here. At an intersection in Falk, Arkansas, a more major intersection, uh, we have Texarkana and Dallas sign because it'll meet I 30. So, a good sign here. I got off of 49 and got into US 71 for this picture, but here we have the Monster Mart in Falk, Arkansas. So, if you know the story with this, uh, yeah, here you go. And not too far along, we do meet Texarkana pretty soon after uh, Falk. Um, it's about maybe 20, 30 miles from the state line. I didn't look for many mileage signs because there weren't really many in this section of 49. And we see Texarkana next six exits up here, plus that sign in the distance. We see two US 59 for Dallas and Houston, with North 49, two Interstate 30 for Little Rock and Fort Smith. Um, 49 is now signed for Fort Smith because you meet US 71 again here for Texarkana. And here is the actual split between the uh, spur over to US 59 for Dallas and Houston. And North 49 I 30 is just time for Little Rock, so no Fort Smith, so that's a little weird. And then just past that, we meet US 82 for 19th Street and 19th Street. Um, they probably should sign this for Magnolia since 82 does go to Magnolia, and that's probably the ne next sensible place for it to be signed. Uh, but uh, what are you going to do? And here we are passing US 67. We don't have a connection with US 67 from I-49. Uh, but we can see the Texarkana Regional Airport around here. It's very hard to see, but this building right here is part of the Texarkana Regional Airport. And just past that, we meet Interstate 30 for Dallas and Little Rock. So sensible control cities there. 49 North is now signed for Ashdown and Fort Smith. Ashdown is the first major-ish town that US-71 hits after 49 ends, and Fort Smith is the controlled city that it will eventually go to once it's completed. So I do like them signing for places that it will go to, so good job here. And then not long, we meet US-71, and we're going to be following US-71 uh, after this point because that is roughly where I-49 is going to either run on or be parallel to. So here we have US-71 for Texarkana, Ashdown, and Fort Smith in one mile. We get a sign saying freeway ends in one half mile. And here you are meeting US-71 signed south for Texarkana and signed north for Ashdown and Fort Smith. And now that we turn right, uh, heading towards Ashdown, we have a speed limit 75. Huh? I didn't know Arkansas had a speed limit 75s on their highways. They're non-interstates, so why is that? 
Well, we're actually not even in Arkansas at all. We're actually in Texas because US-71 has a brief section in Texas after 49 ends. And from what I understand, I-49 will actually be exist in Texas for this brief, like, this brief couple of miles. Um, also, shout out Fun Country Park. I've been here uh, a lot when I was a kid and, you know, pretty fun. It's got mini golf, go-karts, rock climbing, stuff like that. And not too far along, we have a Welcome to Arkansas sign. We actually enter Arkansas before we get to the Red River on this side of US-71, the northbound side. And here we are meeting the rest area and Arkansas Welcome Center. And then we see in the distance over here, it's a way station one mile. It's kind of interesting. We have the Arkansas Welcome Center here, but this, if they choose to keep the same Welcome Center right here for I-49 when this comes through, um, it could be one of the longest stretches between a Welcome Center and the state line on the interstate. Even though we were um, just entering the state line, this is mostly for US-71 and not for I-49, but I wonder if they're going to keep the same Welcome Center. And here you are crossing the Red River. Um, we're still in Arkansas, but if you were on the southbound lanes, you would be coming from Arkansas into Texas. And here we are on North 71 and US 59. So US 59, we are gonna follow for a while. In fact, we have been following it since 49 ended. And here we have a mileage sign for Junction AR32 and Ashdown 8. So no Fort Smith, but we're on US highways now. So I think it's okay for the time being, but once this gets upgraded to I-49, I hope that we see Fort Smith on all these signs. And after we pass through Ashdown, we have the Queen 35 and Fort Smith 162. So we do get Fort Smith on this sign. However, uh, once we get to the next sign, we have Locksburg 16 and the Queen 29. So it seemed to just be a one-off sign, but the Queen is safe fairly sensible next choice for uh, 71 and 59. Here we are meeting US 371. I'd like to do this highway someday. And it's signed for Nashville and Horatio, I think. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I haven't really heard of that place too much. But um, yeah, and then North 71 and 59 signed for the Queen. So yeah, I believe this is the end of 371 but could be wrong but it does intersect us 71 so i imagine this is the end and then further on we meet us 70 uh 70 north is signed for uh the queen and well actually 70 west rather and then 70 east is signed for dirks um yeah i don't know about dirks uh the Queen makes sense because US-70 is going to be concurrent with US-71. Uh, I think Hot Springs should probably be signed for uh, 70 East here, but that's just me. And here we are in the Queen. Uh, 70 is signed for Hugo, Oklahoma going straight. And then four men uh, going left at the stoplight. And then Fort Smith going right. So they do sign Fort Smith here. However, once we come out of the Queen, we have Gillum 9 and Mina 45. So they switched to Mina, and again, for US-71, I think that's okay, because Mina is a fairly large town for it. Here we are meeting US-278, and this is actually the end of, the end or beginning of uh, 278, the Western Terminus. And it is signed for Nashville, so good sign here. And then Mina North, so makes sense. And I thought I'd show you some of the terrain that 71 goes through. And this is the main, this is one of the main reasons why 49 is taking a while to complete because they don't know how they're going to design it with this terrain in mind because it's very hilly through a section. And then the next mileage sign I can find as we get closer to Mina is Mina 11 and Y City 33. I just love the quotations of around the Y on this sign. Uh, I, I got cracked up at it when I saw Mileage Mike's video on this on this road and Y City. It's so funny that they had these quotation marks here. 
then once we meet US 270 West, um, and this is also where North 59 splits off of 71. So we have Y City Strait, Fort Smith Strait, and Poto, Oklahoma left. And then the next mileage sign I could find was the Y City, again with the quotations. Uh, 16 and Fort Smith 76. So after Y City, Fort Smith is signed pretty regularly on the mileage signs. And here we are meeting East 270. Uh, 71 is still signed for Fort Smith, and 270 East is signed for Hot Springs. So I'm kind of shocked that 270 is signed for Hot Springs, but 70 wasn't. So that's a little weird. Maybe this is the faster way, but I doubt it. I think 70 is the faster way going this way. And here we are meeting another mileage sign, Bowles for Fort Smith 60. So Fort Smith is maintained on the mileage signs, as I said before. And if I show you another mileage sign as we get closer to Fort Smith and also some scenery around here. Scenery is pretty nice on US 71. Um, it, I imagine it'll be even nicer once 49 actually gets done and you can see like, see more hills and uh, countryside. And here we are meeting Arkansas Highway 549, uh, right lane only. And this is actually what I-49 will run on. Uh, and is actually signed on for, as 49 on Google Maps, but they're using 549 currently. I guess until the I-40 section is connected with US-71 down here. So here's a reassurance shield for Arkansas Highway 549. We see a Purple Heart Trail sign up ahead. At interchanges, we just have Junction Arkansas 22. So they don't have a city in mind here. They don't have Fort Smith or Van Buren or Fayetteville or anything. They just have the next state highway, which I think is fine for now since this part of 49 or Ghost 49 doesn't really go anywhere yet. And here's the final exit of this section. We have exit 193 for Fort Street, also Arkansas Highway 22. And you can see there's construction just past this. So they're trying to uh, clear out of the way to connect this section with the I-40 section, which is the section next on the agenda. And I jumped ahead to Interstate 40 since uh, there isn't a section plans yet because they have to make a brand new section between those two uh, parts of 49. So we have here on I-40, we have 49 North for Fayetteville. So I agree with that. At intersections, we also have Fayetteville signed. So that's a good thing too. And this part of 49 used to be Interstate 540. So this part was pretty much already completed. So they didn't have to do too much work in terms of changing the signs or, you know, uh, making it interstate standard since it was already interstate. Here's the first mileage sign I could find. We have Rudy 6 and Fayetteville 45. So Fayetteville is listed on the mileage signs. And this is just a really nice view of 49 in northern Arkansas. Um, I think probably the best part of 49 for sure. Uh, I drove this a couple years ago. A really nice view. And lots of stuff to see on this part of 49. So here we have West 62 Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. This was requested by the Dirt Pog. I will link his US 62 video in the description and it will appear on the top right hand corner. And then here we are meeting US 71 Business North Fulbright Expressway. 49 North and US 71 North is now signed for Joplin, Missouri. Um, I think that's a good choice for here. But however, at the interchanges, we have something different. We have Springdale, which I think this way it is actually sensible to sign. Uh, Joplin is great for long distance traffic, so that should be on the pull throughs. But since Springdale, Rogers, and Benville are in state and larger than Joplin, I actually agree with them signing these towns at the intersections. So Springdale definitely makes sense here. Here we are meeting US 412, definitely an odd number for uh, a US highway in Arkansas. And then we got Way Station, three quarters of a mile. 
And after we pass into Springdale, now we have Rogers signed for North. However, another interchange we find, we have 49 North signed for Lowell. What? Why Lowell? Lowell's just the next town over. Like, just sign Rogers or something here. Or sign Joplin. Something besides Lowell. Like, Lowell, I guess, is kind of famous for Arvis Bank, but I don't really think people know that too much, so I don't think we should bother signing this. This could just be an old 540 sign, but still, I think you should change the northbound control city here. And as we're in Rogers, uh, we have uh, 49 North signed for Bentonville now, so that makes sense at an interchange. And here we are meeting East 62. Uh, this was also requested by the Dirt Hog. And 49 North is still signed for Joplin, Missouri. Here we are meeting US-71. Uh, I believe this is US-71 splitting off for Bentonville and Bella Vista. And past this point, this will be the Bella Vista Bypass. And 49 North now is signed for Gravette and Joplin. Why Gravette? Gravette is like one of the last towns in Arkansas. Arkansas is signed two cities, but they're being extremely provincial here. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, well, Joplin's the primary. It's okay for them to sign two cities. Wrong. Here we have, okay, Bell Vista for 71 North. That makes sense. Fort Smith signed South. So they have a primary control going South. But North, we only have Gravette. Why? Why Gravette? I don't even know where that is. And I live in this state. Ugh. Why? Just sign Joplin. Uh, why Gravette? Anyway, this is a scene on the Bell Vista Bypass, so a yeah, pretty nice scene up here. And here we are. This is one of the last bio signs we see in Arkansas. We have Missouri Highway 96 and Joplin, Missouri 43. So things stay consistent on the mileage signs. And here we are entering Missouri. We have a Missouri Welcomes You sign. Also a mile zero for Interstate 49 for Missouri. Okay, so now we will talk about Interstate 49 Arkansas southbound. So here we are at the Missouri-Arkansas state line. We have a Arkansas sign right here. And then here's the first mile sign I could see. We have Arkansas Highway 72, 4 miles, Bentonville 15, and Fort Smith 95. So, okay, so Fort Smith, it's it was the control city for a while. And I think it made sense when Fort Smith was larger. But Fayetteville and its metro is actually bigger than Fort Smith. So I think they should sign this Fayetteville instead of Fort Smith. It's kind of shocking because... Missouri signs at Fort Smith, but Arkansas also does too, so they're skipping over Fayetteville as well, so that's a little weird. So we meet US 71 North again for Bella Vista and Bentonville. And same sign I showed before, we have Fort Smith signed at the interchange. We had US 62. Um, Derp Hog again requested US 62, and I will link his videos in the description and in the top right corner. And here we are in, uh, I believe this is Bentonville. This is either Bentonville or Rogers, but we have Springdale and Fayetteville signed at these interchanges. So that makes sense at uh, interchanges. Um, so, okay, so the last one was Bentonville. This is actually Springdale. So um, we have Rogers signed north and Fayetteville signed south. Meet US 412 again for Sunset Avenue and the way station. And this is a very bad Street View quality picture, but we have West 62 splitting off from Interstate 49 for Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Um, Dirt Pog requested this again. And South 49 out of the Fayetteville metro area, we have Fort Smith sign, so I agree with that. We have Winslow 13, Alma 35, and Fort Smith 41, so a sensible mileage sign here. Alma is the town where we meet Interstate 40, so that makes sense as a secondary. And here is the tunnel on Interstate 49. I forgot to show it uh, going northbound, but here we are on southbound. 
And here we are meeting Interstate 40. We got 40 East for Alma and Little Rock, 40 West for Van Buren and Fort Smith. Alma, Little Rock? We're already in Alma. Why is Alma signed? Sign, I don't know, Russellville, Conway, uh, even better, sign Memphis. There's already a Memphis sign in the Fort Smith area, so maybe do Little Rock Memphis here. Uh, Van Buren, Fort Smith, uh, just do Fort Smith, or do Fort Smith, Oklahoma City, since we're already pretty close to Fort Smith, so just do that. I don't know why Alma and Van Buren are on there, but whatever. And I skipped ahead to the um, State Highway 5489 uh, junction, and it is signed for Junction US 71, and that is what they maintain at the interchanges as well. And I skipped ahead to the end uh, where we're meeting US 71, exit 187. And then we have a southbound 71 sign right here. The first mile sign I could see we have Huntington 11, Mansfield 12, and Mina 67. And next one after is Bulls 2, Y City 6 with the quotations. Here we are meeting US 270 again. Uh, 270 is signed for Hot Springs and 71 is signed for Mena. So good sign here. And here we are in downtown Mena. I figured I'd show a downtown picture. Um, pretty cool looking downtown, very old, old school style. And we have uh, another Milo sign. Once we're past Mena, we have Hatfield 6 to Queen 40. We meet US 278 again for the Queen and Nashville. Uh, so the Queen is going to be the main control city on US 71 and US 59. Um, like I said, I think these are fine for US highways. Um, they're fine right now, but I hope when 49 is completed that they use uh, Fort Smith and Texarkana in this area. And here we are in the Queen. We have four men straight, Texarkana, and Hot Springs going south, and Hugo, Oklahoma going north, or west, I, would, I should say. And we have US 70 ahead, we have Texarkana and Dirk sign. US 371 here um, is signed for Nashville and Horatio, uh, with junction US 24, or say Highway 24. And Ashdown is signed instead of Texarkana. And the next mile sign I could see we have Wilton 15, Ashdown 27, and Texarkana 41. So Ashdown is the secondary control, Texarkana is the primary. I think that's perfect for right here. And once we're in Ashdown, we have Ogden and Texarkana. And here we are crossing the Red River, entering Texas. So we have a welcome to Texas sign, drive friendly the Texas way. And while we're still in Texas, we have a junction Interstate 49 sign right here. And to the left, we can see Little Rock and Shreveport are signs. And Shreveport's the next control city on 49. And Little Rock is the control city for Interstate 30, which it meets shortly after this junction. In fact, here is the Interstate 30 junction. We have lots of cities here. We have South 49 Houston Shreveport, 30 East Hope Little Rock, 30 West Texarkana Dallas. Um, Houston, again, if you're going to sign Houston, mention US 59. Even though we're sort of, actually, no, we're not even on US 59 anymore. So, yeah, I mean, like, I really think I should mention that uh, right here. And then Hope Little Rock, um, Texarkana Dallas. So, since full secondaries here. Uh, and then Shreveport is the primary control on US 49. We meet US 82 again, uh, signed for 19th Street and 9th Street. And here we are uh, meeting US 59 for Houston and South 49 and Shreveport. So a good sign is right here. And this is the one Milo sign I could find going southbound. We just have Shreveport 67, only Shreveport signed. But if you're going to sign one, this is the correct thing to sign. And at interchanges, we also have Shreveport signs, so we're not getting small Arkansas towns, we're not getting Falk, we're not getting anything like that. And not too long after Texarkana or Falk, we have a Welcome to Louisiana sign. Um, so, 
This will end our adventure through Airstate 49 in Arkansas. All right, here is another AR Nathan's final verdict. For Interstate 49, my final verdict is for North, Texarkana, Fort Smith, Fayetteville, and Joplin. And it is pretty much that on the interstates. Um, there's a few uh, interchange signs in between that don't say these, but for the main line, uh, this is signed southbound. Um, I'll say Fayetteville because it's actually bigger than Fort Smith. I get these signs are from like way long ago back before Fayetteville grew past Fort Smith, but signed Fayetteville first because that's the larger city, then Fort Smith, then Texarkana, then Shreveport. All right, um, again, I will ask you to leave a like, leave a subscribe, and leave a comment. Uh, the future roads I have planned are to rank all the Arkansas to Asian interstates based on their control city signage, and also US 64 in Arkansas. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video and see you later.